Hey guys, welcome to Tetris Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about Monday.com versus ClickUp. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Monday.com versus ClickUp. Which platform is the right fit for managing projects and collaborating within your team? So stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of which solution aligns best with your small business needs. So let's start this comparison with Monday.com. Monday.com is an intuitive and user-friendly project management tool. So this provides businesses with a dynamic digital workspace. It functions as a visual hub where tasks and projects can be organized on customizable boards. Each board acts as a virtual canvas, allowing tasks to be outlined, deadlines to be set, and responsibilities to be assigned. This structure enhances project clarity and teamwork by ensuring everyone knows their role. What makes it stand out is not only you can manage tasks, but you can also break them down into smaller subtasks. The platform's colorful and easily customizable interface adds a layer of visual appeal to project management. Columns within each board allow you to structure information efficiently, making it simple to track progress, due dates, and important notes. Beyond project management, Monday.com offers CRM capabilities, enabling business to foster strong customer relationship by managing contacts and communication history. The platform's automation features further elevate efficiency by automating routine tasks, streamlining operations, and freeing up valuable time. In essence, Monday.com empowers businesses to streamline projects, enhance collaboration, and manage customer interactions seamlessly in a visually engaging environment. Now let's head on to the step-by-step -step process in how to navigate Monday.com. To sign up on this platform, just simply click onto the Get Started button in here. Then right after, you'll be redirected onto the sign-up page. So you have the option in here to continue with Google or you can add in your email and then click on continue. So you'll also see in here the terms and services and the privacy policy. And if you have an account already, just simply click onto the login button onto the lower part of the screen. Now, once you've signed up or logged in, you'd be redirected onto its dashboard. Now to get started onto this comparison, let's head on to Monday.com's pricing first. So Monday.com offers different pricing plans that suit your various business needs. They have a plan called Basic, which starts at $8 per month. This plan is good if you're just starting and need basic project management feature. Then there's a standard plan at $10 per user per month, which adds more features like timeline views and automation. If you want even more, there's the Pro plan, at $16 per user per month with advanced features like time tracking and private ports. And if you're looking for the ultimate package, there's the enterprise plan, which offers custom solutions tailored to your business needs. Remember, the prices can change based on the numbers of users you have. So depending on what your business requires, you can choose the plan that works best for you. Now let's get back to your dashboard. So for you to be able to add in a new workspace, just simply scroll down in here and select new workspace. So simply click onto that one and onto this page, you can add in your workspace name. So let's update this one in here. So let's pretend that this is for social media management. So let's add in social media in here, add in some description saying this is for social media. And here onto the lower part, you can also choose in some templates for your workspace. So let's hit onto that one in here and then you could also utilize the search bar here onto the upper part to search for your favorite templates if you have one or some search for keywords. So if you have chosen one already, just simply click onto that one and you'll see the template's name and its description. So you can see that it is also integrated within other apps. And there's a quick preview here onto the lower part and you can just click onto use template to proceed. Now you'll be headed onto your workspace with a template added. So here onto the upper part, there are different tools in here that would be helpful to you, such as your notification inbox and some sort of those things. So, so this workspace is actually your digital organizational zone. So they're like virtual rooms where you can manage your project, task, and collaboration. Each workspace is a separate area where you can set up boards and keep everything organized. You can also see in here the different apps that you can integrate and also you can add in automation for these kinds of things. So if you have different departments in your business, you can create separate workspaces for each department. In each workspace, you can customize boards to match the specific needs of the department. This keeps the things tidy and helps team focus on their tasks without getting overwhelmed by unrelated information. 
but this will help you keep your projects and team separate, making it easier to navigate and manage different areas of your business. It's like having a distinct room for different activities in your digital office. Whether it's marketing, sales, or customer support, each workspace ensures a need and an organized space for your tasks and projects. So this in here is actually called group. So you can update the group name in here, so you can change it. And under the group, that is what you call the items. So here onto the items onto your list, you can set in two dates because in charge, even more things is done. Imagine it as a colorful checklist that you can share within your team. So what's great is that you can see everything at a glance. No more digging around for info. It's all right there on the board. Just drag and drop, click a few buttons and you're good to go. So it's like using your favorite app, but for work stuff. Now let's go over to the other platform, which is click up. So this is like a personal super organized assistant for work. It's a tool that helps you manage tasks, projects, and collaborations easily. Imagine it as a digital command center where you can create lists, set deadlines, and keep track of everything in one place. So you can start by making spaces for different parts of your work, like separate rooms for different activities. Inside each space, you create lists to organize tasks. It's like making a neat categories for your to-do items. You can even break tasks into smaller tasks, which make things really organized. So what's amazing about this is it's more than just a task list. You can add due dates, notes, and even collaborate with your team on tasks. Plus, it's super customizable, so you can set it up to match how you work best. It's like having a virtual workspace that adapts to you. So whether you're a solo entrepreneur or a part of a team, click up makes staying organized and productive a breeze. Now let's try to see its pricing. So ClickUp offers different plans to fit your needs. They have a free plan that gives you a lot to work with, like unlimited tasks and users. If you're looking for more features, they have a paid plan called Unlimited. This plan includes even more things like integration with other tools and more storage. If you need advanced stuff like custom fields and time tracking, there is a business plan. And if your team is big enough, you need to prioritize and support and security features, then there is the enterprise plan with custom pricing. So whether you're a small team or a big company, click up has a plan that fits your needs without breaking the bank. To get started with this platform, just simply click on to sign up and enter your email in here and then follow the prompts right after. So you'll be headed onto its dashboard and just like monday.com, it will ask you to create a workspace. So you just need to simply click onto this one in here, then you can update its name and then you can choose a template right after. So it is just like similar to monday.com. So once you've chosen, you'll just need to simply click onto use template and then you can update the template info in here and then right after just simply click on to use template. ClickUp's navigation is straightforward. It's organized like a digital structure and the top level is your workspace and inside that you have spaces for different tasks. In each space, there are a list of specific projects and within those lists, you manage individual tasks. Compared to Monday.com, ClickUp setup is more structured. It's like moving from a visual board to a defined digital space. While Monday.com focuses on visual organization, ClickUp emphasizes a variety of workspace, space, list, and task. Both are effective, but ClickUp structure might suit those who prefer a clear layered approach to task management. And there you have it, a brief comparison of monday.com versus ClickUp Guide. So if you're still having confusion regarding both of them, so you can just simply sign up onto both platforms so that you could compare it yourself as well. So if this tutorial has been helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and thank you very much for joining us today. Until next time, we'll see you on our next video.